एवरीवन वेलकम टू वेदांतु नीट इंग्लिश एंड दीक्षा कौशल योर केमिस्ट्री मास्टर टीचर एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डूज एंड डोंट्स फॉर योर नीट प्रिपरेशन सो गाइस लिसन टू दिस वीडियो वेरी केयरफुली आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल गेट टू नो समथिंग वेरी यूजफुल फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो बिफोर दैट डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक द वीडियो एंड हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड लेट अस स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू गाइस डू रॉन्ग इज what we assume that okay i'll pick up unnecessarily books that are important that i feel is important and then my preparation will be so much better than the other aspirants but this is not what exactly is right actually you should focus on only one source that is your ncert because your neat exam is based on ncert and the things that are not there in your ncert i am going to cover that obviously in my lectures so right you should focus on only one teacher and only one book that is ncert rest then next thing is once you have completed your syllabus according to the ncert then the next thing that comes in your mind is ma'am i want to do revision right in the revision part what students do they do passive note taking what do you mean by passive note taking passive note taking means that for example i have completed my one chapter then i'm thinking i want to revise it i'll pick up the book again i'll start reading that again that is passive note taking right what you need to do is you need to practice questions related to that so that you are able to understand that what are the things that you are forgetting and what are the things that are actually in your mind that you can retain in your mind and then you will be able to know and you can focus on the things that you are forgetting again and again and the things in which you are doing the mistakes while for sure when you are doing uh, when you are practicing for the first time you are going to do mistakes right so that is nothing to get motivated right you should feel good that yes i am practicing and there are some mistakes i am doing but i am going to clear up those mistakes right so the third thing is third thing is previous year questions so now what about previous year questions so see you must have heard this a lot of time previous year question do previous year question i might have told you so many times that previous year questions are a must must do but are only previous year questions no right so if you are saying that ma'am i have done last 30 years of previous year questions why i am not able to solve other questions the reason is because you are not doing questions related to the previous year right it's not that you have to focus on only the previous year question you need to understand the pattern of last 10 years how they are fluctuating the questions from which topic again and again they are asking the question and how they are molding the question from the same topic but in a very different way they are asking with the question then you will definitely find a pattern right and you should focus on those pattern and that is why i am saying that you should practice from only one book pick out any book like tejas books right then pick out pick out that book you will see that that pattern is obeyed in that book and you will only solve question focus on only those questions that are actually obeying that pattern that you have uh, seen in last 10 years or 15 years most probably last 10 years right then we have next is not giving mock test right after you have completed the lecture you have done revision right now you are also doing practice previous year questions right related questions now the next task is to know your competition right you should know to whom you are competing with like right? you should know your level right you should not be scared of that i will not give mock test because then i will feel demotivated that is a that is a very very bad approach right very bad approach so what you need to see yes i will see where i stand then i will level up myself so guys focus on mock test at least from now give one mock test in a week that is a must must to do thing right why this is a must to do thing i'll, I'll tell you in next page so first thing is you will get to know how to manage your time right for example you are very weak in physics right so now you know that you take time for physics but bio you can just answer in seconds right your bio is very good chemistry you feel that okay inorganic chemistry i can answer in seconds but organic chemistry is something which will take time so now when you are giving the mock test right you will be able to understand that how your mind works in stressed manner right so that is why giving mock test is important so that you are able to make your own strategy and 
that own strategy can be anything right that can be i'll solve firstly bio i'll solve firstly solve physics i'll firstly solve chemistry that is your own strategy right so now after you have your own strategy you are going to apply that strategy throughout these mock tests and in that way your mind will be totally in sync with when you are sitting in the exam hall giving the exam your mind will be very very relaxed because your mind knows that this is what i was doing for the past 4 months i can do this now right okay so that is why i am saying time management you will learn from mock test and other thing is you will get to know your mistakes right when you are practicing the mistakes are different but when you are giving the mock test in that allotted time you will find that the questions that you were very confident with you are doing mistakes even in those question you are doing calculative mistakes you are doing silly mistakes right this is where mock tests are important for you that yes this is where i am lagging behind i am losing my marks because of these silly silly mistakes and how to counter how to uh, how to be able to fight with those mistakes right so that is why mock tests are important for you and you should like what you need to do after revision and doing everything you should have your own short notes right and in those short notes you should have a mistake notebook right you should have a mistake notebook that means if you are writing a summary of any chapter right and you are doing for example you are writing let's forget about short notes short notes so if you do if you feel that ma'am i don't have time you have these flash cards right in these flash cards automatically short notes are made for you right and the, these are best possible short notes for you right so that is already there for you now mistake notebooks i this mistake notebook i can't make for you only you can make make mistake notebook for yourself now how can you make mistake notebook for yourself now what you need to do after giving mock test you will realize that in maybe aldehyde ketones i am doing mistake in this particular reaction again and again i am not able to solve aldol condensation again and again so that is what your weak point is then you need to focus on your weak points even in the month of maybe march and april you will entirely shift your focus on your mistakes and you will cover up everything in that month right so that when there is end of april you are also very confident that i am not going to do these mistakes right next thing is your messed up sleeping pattern right so why i am saying that for example you are thinking it's totally your choice you want to wake up at 5 or you want to wake up at 9 but if you are thinking that i'll wake up at 12 i'll wake up at 1 pm right then your body will find it very difficult when it is in the exam day you will find it very difficult that is why i am saying first thing is uh, your body should like you should be able to wake up by 8 or 9 am maximum right rest if you want to wake up by 5 am that is totally your choice that is person to person that varies second thing is you have messed up eating habits right now i am telling you some psychological things right and in the end i'm going to tell you what is the right pattern to follow right so don't skip this video right right so now second thing is messed up eating habits you are eating junk food daily you are not hydrating yourself and i am not saying to increase your beautification i am saying this is for your mind right the more good food you eat you will have more concentration right and the more hydration you will provide your body the more the more concentration you will feel in the uh, preparation time right third thing is you are uh, basically not just lying on a bed and you are not even walking here and there you are just studying 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 that is also not a good thing to do right you should walk for at least 10 to 15 minutes in your day right so that your body can also relax otherwise you are just studying and your body is getting that anxiety that stress right and that is why you are not able to manage the time you are not able to uh, retain the information that you are studying that is why this rest is also very important proper sleep of 6 hours at least important i would say 8 hours but yes if you can manage 6 to 7 hours that is also fine right 5 hours 4 hours yes it's very cool to think about that but in reality this is making your mind weak and this is a uh, weakening uh, this is uh, basically you are weak, weakening your uh, uh, concentration power your retaining power right next thing is emotional weak emotionally weak right you are not balanced emotionally 
Now, why I have picked out this topic? Reason is because you know it's a very small thing. What happens? Oh my God, I am attracted to that person. Oh my God, this I really like this girl. Oh my God, I really like that person. Oh my God, my friend uh, she ditched me. Oh my God, my friend he ditched me. Oh my God, my friends are uh, uh, doing party and I am sitting there. All of these things that make a chaos in your head. right and you are overthinking about that thing again and again i am a loser i can't do anything i feel very demotivated because i have less marks in mock test so many things right talking about relationships two friendships two breakups two you can say a demotivation related to your mock test this actually distracts you right so how to manage that first thing is relationship c guys don't take the relationship so seriously right now reason being if someone is there for you someone is genuinely there for you they will be there for you even after 10 years right so if they are actually yours no so it won't bother them that you are studying the whole day and you are not giving them the time that they need right so uh, don't do this nibha nibhi things right second thing is friendships if you have a true friend they will be by your side in your hard times also if you are ditching you they were not your friends right so realize it right don't waste your time because to don't waste this precious time because of things that are very temporary in your life third thing is ma'am i am feeling very demotivated because of the mock test right if you are feeling demotivated get up and solve the question see where do you are doing mistakes because now you still have the time to improve yourself right so don't mess up your life because of everything that is permanent that is not permanent in your life that is totally temporary right so that is my advice to you now next thing is what should i follow ma'am so that is what should you follow firstly any chapter you pick up firstly you should watch a lecture i would say right now is the time that you should watch the lecture instead of going through the notes uh, again and again that is my advice to you right because the teacher that will explain to you the teacher will explain to you in a very short time right but you when you pick up that chapter yourself you will take maybe double or triple of that time right so lecture watch a lecture then jump to the previous year question of last at least 20 years right then after analyzing the pattern of previous year from that chapter right then you should now you should go for chapters right uh, like individual chapter previous year questions right now after that you should practice the question from tejas books or tatva books right or any of your favorite module right you can practice the question right that are related to the previous year questions next is you will definitely do some mistakes here so now write down your mistakes that you are doing see that where what are the topics that you are weak in after that do the revision for revision make the short notes or flash cards like these you can do the revision then after that going through the short notes right as i told you short notes you will make right again you give the mock test right once you have completed all the chapters like this now you should give a mock test of the combined chapters in that you will realize you are further doing so many mistakes right so once you know those mistakes write it down in the same short notes then again revise the chapter and now your focus should be on those mistakes that you have done here and here right now just do this again and again until you have uh, vanished your mistakes right so that is a best strategy that you can follow start following from today onwards right so now students one thing that will help you in all of this that is totally free of cost is wait a minute so i think now it will be very difficult for you to see this so now guys as you can see this is p block group 15 16 any lecture you can go through right in this lecture in the description right i know you guys are not able to see this but when you open the description here you will get get complete neat preparation treasure box pdf pyqs class notes cbsc neat click on that thing here and this is the sheet that will open right so here chapter name is mentioned grade is mentioned neat the youtube session of neat the notes that are available then you will have previous year question test the previous year question pdf of neat then you have ncert solutions as well right so all of these things will help you in this particular strategy that i have told you rest of the things if you want to have 
revision right then you can have flashcards right that are available to you in the description box only right so these kind of flashcards will be available to you next is if you want to have some good practice book then you can go for tejas or tatva book that are really really amazing books okay guys so that's all for today so i hope so you really like this video and you learned something something out of this video and i really hope that you will apply this from today onwards right and i'm waiting for your amazing amazing comments in the comment box and your further queries that you have for neat 2025 Okay then bye bye take care see you all in the class where i am going to start with p block bye bye